Ross Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, Hindrances to Christ's Rule, from 2 Corinthians 10.4. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. The Bible says, when Christ comes to live in your heart, old things are passed away and all things become new. The Lord has put a new spirit in us. Previously, I could not understand why so many of us who proclaim Christ had such little impact on the kingdom of darkness. It seemed to me that our culture should be impacted much more if his children walked in the light as Jesus did. Jesus impacted his culture like no other man. I saw many workplace believers who proclaimed Christ living no differently than a person who had not claimed him as Lord. These men and women had a form of religion but little power that reflected Christ's rule in their lives. Then one day God took me through a time of testing that led to a discovery of generational influences that impacted the way I viewed people and circumstance on a subconscious basis. I discovered this as a a stronghold that had been implanted many generations earlier. Because the stronghold operated on a subconscious level, it was not easily recognizable. Strongholds keep us from being free to reflect Christ in and through our lives because they require allegiance until they are dealt with. Strongholds can often be so hidden that we would not even identify them as evil. A stronghold of fear, control, rebellion, insecurity, idolatry, pride, or bitterness may be hidden until it is revealed through circumstances. All strongholds are built in our lives as a result of seeking to meet one or more of seven basic needs God has created in us. Once we believe a lie that God cannot meet a need without our effort, we open our spirit to a stronghold. The more lies we believe, the more we invite these strongholds to take root in our lives. Are you ineffective in your Christian experience? Are there besetting sins that seem to recur in your life? You may find that Satan has built a fortress in your heart that has been there many generations. You must ask God's forgiveness for entertaining this stronghold, and you must renounce it. Then, as Christ renews your mind and heart, you will see Christ's power released in your life like never before. You know, that was such a a breakthrough in my life to discover that I had a spiritual stronghold of insecurity and fear that made me control people and circumstances. And uh, perhaps you struggle with an area in your life. It might be a stronghold is still there. So I encourage you to uh, go to the Lord with that. And I want to pray for you about that. Father, I pray that uh, those who might be struggling with personality issues of anger or control, uh, any type of pride issue, there might be a stronghold. And I just pray that you'd reveal that to those listening today and help them become free so that they can serve you in power. In Jesus' name. I'd encourage you to go to our bookstore, TGI Bookstore, and do a search for Demolishing Strongholds. There's an e-booklet there that I highly encourage you to get that really was very helpful to me and that I helped publish that book, and perhaps it'll be helpful to you. God bless. Have a great day.